What's up, YouTubers? So this is like a fast, quick video dealing with what we covered in a previous video. So this is really like video 1.5. But in a previous video dealing with hydrogen gas and hydrogen embrittlement, I talked about how I wanted to do MIG and flux core and TIG. So I thought I would do that today. Now, I didn't do the TIG in this video and I really don't think I need to test it because I already know the results that there won't be any evidence of hydrogen escaping the weld. But when you look in here, and I'll zoom in in a second, I did basically hardwire MIG with C25 gas and then I did uh, flux core. So let's look at it. So hardwire MIG is on the bottom. No bubbles ever came out of that and I watched it for a good 10 minutes. The upright plate is flux core. I'm going to fast forward it to where we can see maybe if a bubble comes out of it. It looked like a few did when I was watching it, but honestly, it's hard to say. Well, that was pretty interesting. So you probably didn't see it on camera, but the little bubbles there were, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 of them over the course of eight minutes. I saw a pop up out of that flux core weld and zero out of the gas shielded MIG. Now, there's a couple things I want to mention regarding that. One, the flux core wire I'm using has sat outside, well, in the machine for weeks on end right now, and it's just cheap crap from Tractor Supply Co. So, about as cheap as you can get. It is T11 wire, it's not GS, not that that really makes a difference, but it's, you know, it's just cheap wire. So not too expected that it's possible it picked up uh, moisture. The other possibility is, is that there's little pores that are in that weld that I just can't see because I didn't look at it with a magnifying glass. And what I was seeing was actually not I guess hydrogen escaping out of it and maybe it's just an air bubble that formed in that super small pore on the surface. It is possible that's what it is because there weren't many, uh, you know, but realistically I would say that keeping the wire out and using cheap wire is kind of a, <laughs> I don't know, you're asking for moisture pickup. And that's why like I've looked at dual shield wire and a lot of those like they specify certain things like it's laser welded, it has X amount of hydrogen per inch of weld, with like milliliters of hydrogen per inch of weld, all sorts of stuff. Like they actually test and specify that they meet certain criteria. This product is not tested, specified, nothing. So is it uh, a good idea to use that wire? A flux core wire to weld on uh, high strength steel? No, I would say definitely not. Do not recommend. Just like running 6010 or 6013, stick with your gas shielded MIG or a wire that's specified for welding that stuff. But, you know, I guess it is what it is on that. A lot less, if that was hydrogen escaping, a lot less than there was on 6010, that's for sure. But with that said, I thought it'd be interesting just to toss this out as a quick video, as a follow-up, so that all of us are on the same page. And this really is just more for information, because it's pretty neat to see stuff like this and test things and be a mad scientist. So with that said, thanks for sticking around. Until next time.